Racing through the streets of the home valley, an ambulance returning from an emergency. It's 1972 and in the picturesque streets of the South Pennines, the ambulance crew from the village of Honley near Huddersfield have clubbed together to make a film celebration of their working lives. Among those lending a hand, ambulanceman Fred Williams. One of the things that I really liked when I first joined was the fact I was going into a village I was brought up in, moving people or people's children that I went to school with or grandmothers or whatever, and everybody used to natter away and they always said that if an ambulance came into the station, into the hospital, and everybody's laughing and shouting and talking and that, then they'd had a nice ride in. If they came in tight-lipped, then there was something wrong with the driver, you know. So it was quite, um, from that point of view, it was, it was a worthwhile and fulfilling job. Former driver Clifford Lord recalls how basic most of the ambulances really were. When you think about it, they, they were no different to bread vans. They, they, they had no uh, extra suspension, no, no just the ordinary old springs like the bread van had, you know, they were just a bread van basically with a, a stretcher in things. Uh, so obviously uh, your rides depended a lot on the driver, knowing, knowing the road and being able to read the road as regards the, the state of the surface and things of that nature, as well as being able to maintain a reasonable speed. The film was taken in the men's spare time to show the latest medical practices being put to work, including a mock emergency on a camping trip, which was used to illustrate the crew's developing range of skills. Now, when it comes to an, uh, uh, an accident situation, we thought, uh, when people think of accidents, think of motor accidents, but uh, we thought of something, being a rural area, and we thought, well, what about if we have these guys camping? The idea was the stove we were going to make some breakfast and a drink and the stove blew up and one got badly burnt and the other one fell over a tent peg trying to rush around and banged his head on a stone and finished up unconscious and it was a real emergency situation. And uh, got all the kit out, the vehicles and utilised as many of the training techniques as we could think of. We had the plastic airways, the put airways into them and wound dressings and used cold water for burns and we used a uh, the uh, sheet and poles for lifting and all this business. And eventually they all finished up in the ambulance and uh, off we went. The difference between arriving at the scene and leaving the scene in those days, if it were more than three minutes, two or three minutes, questions were asked because the whole concept of the idea of an ambulance was to come um, down the road, bells ringing, sirens going, fast as they can, pull up, both leap out, open the back doors, grab the patients, put them in, shut the doors, leap back in the ambulance, and off again, sirens and bells ringing. Uh, and that was how the public saw the ambulance service. Now, as training came in, uh, and patients had to be examined thoroughly, and equipment used to immobilise limbs and do whatever you can, uh, it took time and uh, the time at the scene got longer. And in fact, I've been at scenes where the crowd have been muttering, like a road accident, and there have been people standing around. He's gonna be dead before they get him in, they've been here 10 minutes, you know what I mean, this sort of thing. Nowadays, you see, with modern training and uh, paramedics, they can be outside somebody's house for the best part of half an hour. And, and that's good training, because they're putting leads on them and drips into them and all sorts of things. The crew's labour of love became so admired it was later used as a training film for new recruits. It was voluntary and it was financed by the lads and uh, but our authority took you know, quite a good look at it. In fact the very first premiere we had opening we invited all the chiefs from West Riding and we had an, uh, an afternoon and put a tea on and everything and the chief was well impressed. And every course that came through the training school, young people, uh, we used to show 